Okay, so my book is called The Weight of a Thousand Feathers and it centres around the main character of Bobby Seed who is 17 year old and he's a young carer for his mother who's got a degenerative form of MS and throughout the book it progressively gets worse. Her MS gets so bad that she is bedridden and she asks Bobby if he will assist in her death. So Bobby has this dilemma to make Willie Will he end his mother's life and end her pain, or will he keep his mother alive, basically, and watch her endure this, this life of agony? But it sounds quite dark. There are a lot of light moments in it. You know, Bobby joins a, a care group for, for his peers, who are also young carers, and he meets new friends, like-minded people. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of light-hearted moments in it. It's not all doom and gloom. Um, yeah, and that's it, the weight of a thousand feathers. I think what piqued my interest about writing about young carers, because I used to be a teacher, and I came across a lot of young carers through my time. They suffered a lot, and they suffered in silence. You know, they never gave you any grief. They did their work, they came to school, they struggled, but they did suffer in silence, and I felt I don't want to be conceited to say I want to give them a voice, but I knew I wanted to write about the plight of a young carer and what it meant to be a young carer. I started, it took me 10 years to get published from writing my first book to I see it in shops and 217 rejections before that from agents and publishers. But what it meant to me was that you need, you need to keep working. You need to move on from an, to another project if it's been rejected. Rejection is part of this business. Take people's criticisms on board and always aim and try to get better. 